the objective with this study was to see if CM101, an antipathoangiogenic compound known to inhibit scarring in wound healing, would inhibit gliosis in spinal cord injury. We therefore rendered animals either monoplegic or paraplegic by squeezing the spinal cord down from a 2 millimeter to a 0.1 millimeter diameter, either laterally or unilaterally, to generate paraplegic or monoplegic animals. And animals were randomly assigned to control and treatment groups. We had 14 mice in the control group. Of the 14 mice, only six survived for the first 24 hours. And over the time, they never recovered the use of their rear legs. After four days, the paraplegic control still has not regained any ability to move his rear legs. The paraplegic control, only four animals remained on day seven of the 14 animals in the control group. And by day 14, we still have four animals surviving, but neither of them have recovered any movement of their rear legs. In the treatment group, we had 12 mice who were paraplegic, and all 12 survived after 24 hours. And as you may see, the animal on day one has no ability to move their rear legs. The animals were treated every other day by IV infusion in the tail vein with 30 or 60 micrograms of CM101. By day seven, the paraplegic mouse has recovered the ability to walk. And by day 14, as you may see, even the tail is being lifted. And the animal has full use of his rear legs. 